Well, guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to talk to you about a story I seen this morning, and uh, it goes right along the uh, lines of what we talk about in domestic violence and just people upset that you don't want to be with them, can't take no for an answer, ignoring the restraining the orders and orders of protection or whatever. And uh, this hard-headed people, period. I don't know what guys, and you usually see a lot of guys doing this. I wonder what these guys are trying to prove by being a thorn in somebody else's side that don't want to be with them. All They put more energy, it seems like people put more energy in getting revenge on people that don't want to be with them in a relationship than the relationship itself when they had the person in a position where they were giving you a chance to be with them. This story right here I'm going to show you is out of uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Shut up, Memphis. And uh, this is something you got to see to believe. Take a look. The woman initially believed that her car caught fire because of an electrical issue until she took a closer look at the video on her ring camera. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Darcy Thomas. I'm Daryl Green. That video you just saw part of it shows a person dousing both of her cars in that driveway with gasoline, then setting one on fire. Let's go to Fox 13's Dominique Dillon live from the fire department in Whitehaven. So Dominique, any charges yet? Have they found who did this? No, which is why we are not identifying the woman this happened to, nor are we identifying her ex-boyfriend, who she is sure is responsible for setting her car on fire. My son, he was in his room and I heard this popping noise and I was like, what is this sound? This Whitehaven mother says she looked outside and saw her 2016 Dodge Challenger engulfed in flames. My son was so brave. He jumped in the other car while the other vehicle was on fire, not knowing it was in, you know, covered with gasoline. And he managed to back out the driveway and park it. And the Good Samaritan, he was trying to contain the fire as well. Initially, this woman thought her vehicle went up in flames on accident until she took a look at her ring camera. She could not believe what it captured. I see my ex pouring gasoline on both of my cars. He literally tried to kill us and it's just, it's crazy. In the surveillance video, you can see a person douse a white Mercedes Benz and a dark colored Dodge Challenger with liquid. The suspect attempts to light the Mercedes Benz parked under the carport on fire, but the suspect is unsuccessful. When would this nightmare ever end? It's just been something like he creeps around. She says she dated this man for four years before breaking up with him six years ago. She says she has called the police on him numerous times and has an order of protection against him. But even a trip to jail did not stop him from showing up to her house last month. If you could say anything to him, what would you say? Rot in hell. <laughs> Rot in hell. He deserves to be set on fire. The same way how he tried to do us. who may have seen something Sunday night to come forward with that information because she's trying to gather every piece of evidence she can to put this person behind bars for a long time. Also, coming up on Fox 13 News at 6, you'll have an opportunity to hear from a domestic violence advocate. Darcy? Guys, that's the story of this man-child. And, uh, it's like nowadays you say the word break up, it means you get broke off in all different types of ways and your life is in jeopardy. I've never seen so many people that want to force themselves into somebody's life when they don't want to be with them no more. What you think about something? She said her son ran outside on a burning car, jumped in the burning car and backed it up so it wouldn't burn up the house or burn, catch fire to the other car. He didn't even know the car was covered in gas. 
No, easily with the vapor of gasoline, which is flammable, not the liquid, it's the vapor. You know, and gas has a strong smell. How easily that other car could have gotten engulfed in flames. It could have been a big fireball explosion from all of that gas in the air. And you've seen the guy who did it like the first car, but couldn't like the second car. You've seen the cars. One was like a Dodge Charger. The other one looked like it was a Mercedes Benz. Obviously, this lady has some type of success. Now, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I never really brought, well, I brought this up a few times. But just hear me on this. She has a home. Look like a nice home, clean home. Two nice cars out there that, you know, a respectable status. People like that, meaning popular cars. That Mercedes Benz and the other car. The guy's coming up on foot. Now, I'm going to tell you something. There are a lot of women out here. And let's be honest. There are a lot of women out here that are uneven yoked financially when dealing with dudes. They say good, guy, good girls like bad guys. I think that's true in, in some parts. I mean, in some cases, this guy coming up on foot, she got a Mercedes, got a uh, Charger. Boy was old enough to drive. And this is just my thinking. He wanted to set both cars on fire, but he really wanted to do that Mercedes. Did you see whatever he had? It was, I don't know if it's a stick light or whatever. He couldn't get it to light for the Mercedes. He knows which car, whose car is whose. He couldn't get the one car, so he got them both. I mean, he tried to get them both, but he was really after that white car. A lot of women out here that are career women and stuff, they get these guys, and the person, the guy that can't deal with them, you know, on a certain level, whether it's intellectual or whatever, or in their career path, they outgrow a person. And that's the thing. It's usually somebody outgrowing somebody else. And this guy right here, for some reason, he wanted to tear up her possessions. Did you see him in the ring doorbell camera? He then came back. He talking to the camera like it's her arguing at the camera. And sadly, at his finest. Let me tell you something. If you are on your way financially and you're doing whatever you got to do or whatever in life, because, you know, a relationship takes two productive couples. You know, they even make it nowadays. And you got one that's like an anchor and he's dragging you or you dragging him. Uh, get out the situation. But it just seems to me the reason why I brought that up. Mindset is the main thing that get people where they want to be financially, whether it's focusing on something with, unyield, you know, unyieldingly or it's dismissing silly things that will slow you down in your progress of being successful as a human being on the planet. Just because you're in a relationship, a lot of times, you know, not everybody is thinking on the same uh, mindset and going the same road. Reason why I'm bringing up mindset in this, this dude's doing some stupid stuff. And for the stuff that he's doing, sometimes you say to yourself, mm, I can see why you get rid of this dude. What he's doing is lacking a common sense and things like that. I don't understand why people do this, but I mean, that, that boy could have died. Because of somebody else's anger and jealousy of not being with somebody no more. A lot of times you see these type of traits. You could break up with somebody and they might talk to you from time to time on the phone. And then your phone call stop because you meet somebody else. Once they get a taste of that, that's when you see the real them. You see that man child come out. Jealousy, anger, so on and so forth. I don't know what this situation is. They said she was with this guy for four years and then broke it off. Four years is a lot, long time for a relationship. He's older people. Four years, he get a chance to know what direction you going financially, what direction you going career wise, even though he not in that same boat or, or he just don't want what you was doing for him that you stopped doing to do for somebody else. A lot of people always focus on the relationship of how somebody dealt with them. And then they can't bear to witness you doing anything nice for somebody else and taking advantage of opportunities that they should have took advantage of. It's just amazing to me. All of these videos on domestic violence, the energy and time they've taken trying to hurt you or destroy your property. They could have put into building a relationship that was fruitful and had longevity. It's the wildest thing. It's like the same type of thing. Back in the day, 
burning stuff up. Women would do stuff like that for fear of loss or fear of, like I said, oh, you ain't going to have no other chicken this. You ain't going to have no this. We see it in movies and all types of stuff. Now dudes are doing it. It's like, man, that feminine and masculine energy is all messed up. That stuff that dude did was a straight up bitch move. It was, in my opinion. If don't somebody don't want to be with you, just move on. I'm not going to risk my freedom because somebody told me no in a relationship. But then again, not everybody thinks like adults nowadays. And this is proof of it. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. She said she's seen it. It was him. She knows it's him. She gave him a message. At the end, you see it blocked out. She must have got the cursing. But I mean, come on. Insurance fees, all of that stuff. People minding their business. And you coming up there bothering them, even though it's a court order telling you not to. It's unacceptable. Some people need to be taken out of here. Because I'm telling you, if he that bold to do that, he bold to do other things. Because I'm going to tell you something, with a man, they go in different levels of their boldness and courage. Say he set them cars on fire and she came out there and seen him. No telling what he would have did because he was already ready to go all the way. Him striking that match or striking that lighter to set that car on fire, he knew it was a lot of possibilities of things that could happen. They could have got burned up inside that house, trapped in the house, burned up because the uh, cars caught on fire. Could have set that house on fire, could have ruined everything. He didn't care because at that point of him hitting that stick lighter or whatever it was he was hitting to set that fire, that was the ultimate goal to cause chaos and destruction in somebody else's life that don't want you in it no more. You're a bitch. Corny. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.